the Blue Jays, the Creighton Blue Jays, against the number one Yukon Huskies, uh, nearing that big game schedule, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, 5.30 real time, that'd be Vegas time. We'll be played out at the Shy Health Center in Omaha, Nebraska. Creighton, 19-7 and seven. overall, really nice record at home, 11-2. and two. UConn 24 and 2 overall, 6 and 2 on the road. So um, you, you, you got two teams that are headbutting each other. Lots of lots of reasons to support both both programs. The Blue Jays have dominated the series in recent years, truthfully, winning six of the last eight meetings against UConn, even even playing them really tough in their championship season recently. The meeting this year, as well as last, uh, with the Huskies, UConn's been the better team. That is the case tonight, guys. They that that said. The Jays have been playing really good basketball, if not elite basketball, to be honest with you. UConn's favored by three points on the road tonight against a team that's playing really good basketball. Over under checks in at 145, depending on your store or, uh, or locale. And when you're watching this, obviously, right? What you need to know about Creighton is a couple things. Creighton, first, they put the finishing touches on their, what I, their double digit blowout by double digits of the season on Saturday, um, taking home uh, the trophy in the, ma in the battle, should I say, of Creighton Butler, the Butler B Bulldogs. 79-57 uh, was the final score, 22-point victory. It was, a, it was a complimentary pick by myself on my Friday Network of Shows. I liked Creighton. I liked the overnight game, too. And Butler struggled so much that the, the total did not go over. But Creighton easily won, as, as I just said. Uh, they had a number of key pieces. Uh, to thank for that big win. Uh, issuing probably uh, Baylor Shearman. The butt slaps is appropriate. Baylor dropped a double-double, 27-10, 27 points, 10 rebounds. Another player making, made, making a big difference this season and in the game was uh, Ryan Kalkbrenner. Uh, another player that went for a near double-double, 21.6 rebounds, two steals. Really, really this team's playing really good ball. T tough to fade them or right, stand in front of them. Um, should I say that's probably more appropriate what you're doing now rather than fading them. Um, for the season, the call printer, he's averaging 17 and 2, 7 and 4, 7.4 rebounds. One, only in one assist a game. So he is typically the key guy to go to to create his own shot. Uh, and he's knocking down 64% of his field goal takes, uh, which ranks about 10th, top 10 in the nation. So um, before I go on to the conclusion of this, I'll give you the reasons why I like. And I'll tell you right now that I like UConn. And what you need to know about UConn tonight, do us a favor here at Wager Talk. Do yourself a favor and hit the register button. Uh, register today. You get all of the breaking news from Wager Talk, the new schedules, the schedule changes, maybe breaking news about Wager Talk giving something away or sports memo or both. Uh, uh, maybe a new, a new look of the gold sheet, which is something that's happened as well. But hit the register button. It takes just one minute. It helps us understand what you want from us so we can deliver that to you. Um, it's a win-win for both sides. It now takes one minute, uh, and we really appreciate that. So next, again, UConn. What you need to know about UConn isn't a whole lot. I think you know a lot about UConn. But they've won 13 in a row. Tonight they make it 14, or they made it 14 in a row on Saturday. Tonight it's 15. They, Huskies were 10 times, 10 times the team on Saturday uh, that Marquette was, and Marquette's a good team, another good Big East school. Um, UConn, 81 to 53 victory over Marquette was in single digit spread, obviously, and a game that that many, I mean, a lot of sharps like Marquette to kind of get back into this uh, uh, into the league and, and show UConn that they're not the man, the it, the X factor um, of this conference. It's just not true, although it was on Saturday. Um, Donovan uh, Klingon, he, he, he had a double-double, 17 points, 10 rebounds, and a solid performance from the whole, whole team. And when you're, making, uh, when you're making picks for the nice game between these two Big East money teams, know that when you go to the sports book and you push, whether it be virtual or whether you're actually at the brick-and-mortar shop, know that when you go to the counter and you push your money across and you're backing the Huskies that you are backing not only the better team, you're backing the best team in college basketball right now tonight. And you're getting a benefit, a benefit of having just delay a mere field goal being due to this is Creighton and the way they're playing and they're at home, right? 
Um, I like the number. I think it's fair. I think it's a steal, to be honest with you. And I like UConn as the play of the day from Tony Finn right here at Wager Talk Studios. Thanks so much for dropping by. Don't forget about tomorrow. we got more free stuff.